Agent de Sausalito. Now will we? What exactly do you want me to do, Mac? Keep your eyes open. See if you can spot anybody who knew Jason. And if we find they did have a place in Sausalito, how will that help? All we have to do is find some evidence that Jason was alive on Saturday morning. We can break the back of Chapman's case. And if we don't? Sorry. I can't say I've seen either of them. We have a lot of territory to cover, Fred. Do you know where we could rent a couple of cars? Sure. Two blocks up the street and a short ride. Can you spare three walkie-talkies? Sure thing. I hope you find what you're looking for, man. Commissioner. Nothing. Nothing. Mac, maybe Chapman's right. Chapman's wrong. Somewhere, somebody's going to be able to recognize a picture of those two. Let's keep looking. It's in a little cove about five miles north of town. I'll be parked in front. Good work, Enright. Did you hear that, Lee? Yes, I'll meet you there. Enright, call the sheriff and get a search warrant. And tell him to dig up all the information he can on the Jays. Yes, Luck, sir. The agent has sold the house to Jason Richards, identified him, and Mr. J is the same person. Have we really found them? Kind of looks that way. Enright, why don't you check the boat and the dock? We'll check the house. Yes, sir. tough for you. Like the man said on the ship, damn the torpedoes. It's dated Saturday. Still fresh. That means someone was here over the weekend. Oh, Mac. There's no freezer compartment. Well, that's an old ice box. To be a freezer somewhere. This is the frozen cut waffles. Here it is. Meat, vegetables, TV dinners. Enough frozen food here to last two people for a long time. Most of it seems to have been bought within the last couple of days. What makes you say that? Well, there's no frost on it. You see? Packages on the bottom here are covered with it. Look. If only we could find who sold them this on Saturday. Yes, it could prove that Jason wasn't in his office on Saturday. Can't be in two places at the same time. Commissioner! Out here. What's wrong? Candy Erickson. Her body was floating under the dock.
Well, sir, it looks like an obvious case of a double murder. Yeah. A jealous wife kills her husband and his mistress. Just a little too obvious, don't you think? Sir, the district attorney's office is going to press for an indictment, whether we like it or not. And if anything about Candy Erickson's death points to Mrs. Richards, they'll have a prima facie case. There's still a body missing. Until we find Richards or some other answers, the investigation is open. Okay, sir. Uh, what do you want to do about Mrs. Richards? I'll drive her back to the city. I think the best thing would be for her to turn herself in. Shame. Pretty young girl like that. I'd sure like to get my hands on the person who did it. You can help, Fred. Put out an APB to apprehend Jason Richards. Richards? He's dead, isn't he? Let's find out. And lean on your coroner, hard. I want an A to Z autopsy on that girl, and I want the results now. I'll do what I can. Talk to you later. I want you to question every grocer in the area. I have a hunch Richards bought some eggs, milk, and a large amount of frozen food sometime Saturday morning. But the elevator operator said he saw him in his office on Saturday morning. He saw his car, but he didn't see Jason Richards. We don't stand a chance, May. Why not admit it? We'd have stood a better chance if you'd told me everything. I have. No, Jason could have gotten a divorce if that was all he wanted. But no, he tried to frame you on a murder rap and be willing to disappear for the rest of his life. He'd have to have a pretty strong reason. What have you got on him? You never did miss much. It's more than infidelity, isn't it? He's been embezzling money from our company for years to pay for his habits. I tried looking the other way and it got worse. And soon he was forging my name on checks. And about a year ago, he sold several hundred thousand dollars of company stock without authorization. Did you tell him you could have him thrown in jail? Yes. I told him he could have his freedom in exchange for 20 years hard labor. Do you think he killed her? I don't know why he would. To hear him tell it, he loved her more than life. Well, suppose he didn't tell her about his plan to frame you until he'd taken her to the cabin and she refused to go along with it. Now, he'd already committed himself. He left an awful lot of blood around. And a tape recorder in the office. It's too late. He had to do it. Possibly. But I don't think he has the guts to kill him off. McMillan. District Attorney Chapman would like to speak to you, Commissioner. Put him on. Yes, sir. The, DA. the Highway Patrol found Candy Erickson's car this morning. Lee Richards' 22 caliber pistol was in the glove compartment. Her prints are on it. Uh, there's an awful lot of static in this area. Would you repeat that, please? The Highway Patrol found Candy Erickson's car this morning. Lee Richards' 22 caliber pistol was in the glove compartment and her fingerprints are on it. Let's get it over with. We'll meet in my office at 4 o'clock. There's no longer any doubt about it, Commissioner. Bullets were removed from Candy Erickson's brain. The ballistics tests indicate they were fired from Lee Richards' gun. Where's the rest of the autopsy report? On its way from Sausalito. In the meanwhile, Miss Richards, I intend to charge you with the murder of your husband, Jason Richards, and Candy Erickson. Now, you have the right to remain silent. And I warn you, anything you say can be used against you. <laughs> 